Welcome back to Project Zomboid, guys. Now, I know I said that I was going to take a little break from Project Zomboid, but I just can't help myself. After Johnny Depp died, I was so distraught, but I, I just can't help myself. We have, we have to play a little bit more Project Zomboid because I'm just so into the game and it, it's so much fun to play. And, and you guys are leaving some great comments with some great advice and uh, suggestions and stuff like that. So uh, I, I want to continue playing Project Zomboid, but obviously uh, Johnny Depp died, unfortunately. May you rest in peace. Uh, but we are jumping in with a new character, so we're going to play Custom Sandbox. These are the mods that we are running. Let's continue. We'll start in Muldraw again. I like Muldraw. Uh, we are going to play... I set a little thing up here. So it's basically the same. Um... I've set the darkness during night to be bright so that we can actually see what's going on. I feel like that helps. Uh, the sadistic AI director, uh, the helicopter is set to sometimes. Uh, the character, we cannot uh, multi-hit. Uh, we do not have the minimap. Uh, we can't allow it. It's fine. Let's allow the minimap. I don't tend to use it. Uh, vehicles are standard zombie lore. If we get infected, our death is uh, instant mm -hmm. because I don't want to run around thinking I'm alive when I'm in fact dead. And then in advanced zombie options, we have turned off uh, uh, respawn and I don't know why that's at 60. I think I it, standard is 28, so we'll just save that. Uh, so that's that. Next. We, I have created an out of shape burglar here for us. So we are going to be an out of shape burglar. We have fitness, uh, extra light footed experience game, nimble experience game, sneaking experience game. And we start with some and our strength is five. Now, normally our fitness would be four or five as well, but because we're out of shape and underweight, uh, that has dropped down, but hopefully we can fix those things. We're a smoker. Uh, obviously, we're a bur burglar, so we can hotwire vehicles, which is very nice. Uh, we have cat's eyes. We're dexterous, so we can transfer our items uh, quickly in the inventory. And we have keen hearing. Uh, for our character, we are going to be Al Cappuccino. And I have set him up here. So Al Cappuccino has sent parting, no beard, but some stubble. I'm pretty sure I told him to have stubble. Uh, and we're wearing jeans, socks, sneakers, long sleeve t-shirt, formal shirt, and a tank top. Let's jump in and hope that Al can survive for longer than Johnny did. Because poor old Johnny, he, uh, well, as, as was said in the com comments, poor old Johnny dropped his keys and uh, he was deaded. So, or unalived, maybe. So, yeah, uh, let's see what Al Cappuccino can accomplish and if he can accomplish more than, uh, than Johnny Depp did. Let's hope he can. Let's hope he can. All right, here we go. If you enjoy Project Zomboid, if you enjoy the videos, it would be great if you would hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell. It really helps me out a lot and helps out the channel a lot. And also it lets me know that you're enjoying the videos, which is useful for me. So yeah, if you have it in you, please hit that subscribe button and like button. And I will be very, very appreciative of that. Ooh. Woodcraft one. Okay. Now we're not going to fret about um, watching TV and stuff like that. Oh, a griddle pan, nice. We have a weapon. Uh, I do want all this stuff though. It's heavy to carry around. Ooh. Uh, let's grab the chips, the mac and cheese, the pepper. 
I think we'll leave. We'll take that. The pasta is heavy. We're going to leave that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Denim shorts. Nah. In here. Ooh, 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 ooh. A crowbar. Nice. And a saw. And a battery. Uh, well, the griddle pan we don't really need anymore, but it's okay to have as a backup weapon, I guess. We can drop it if, uh, if we need to. Uh, a flight case. What's in that? Nothing. Mm. Alright. I think we are done in this house. Now, I know where we are. Ooh, there's a nice car up there. It's open, and there's a key in it, and there's a little bit of fuel. Nice start, I have to say. All right, this couldn't have started much better. We're um, we're gonna go live down here again because I feel like it's a good place to be. It's a it's a nice uh, starting spot. Uh, we'll we'll stop the car here, jump out, and we will uh, I guess whack some zombies with our nice crowbar. That was an excellent starting weapon to find. There are a lot of zombies, but I think we can handle them with our crowbar. There's one down permanently, two down permanently. There are more back here, so I think we'll just run down here. Well, swing and a miss, swing and a hit. A little bit further back. Uh, there are a lot of zombies. We can take them. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. Damn it, we're gonna try. Because I want to live here. Come on, die. They just won't go down permanently. Very annoying. Alright. It is a lot of zombies. He has to be almost dead, right? Alright, he went down. Might have to just lead them away. Right. We are getting some down. So that's good. But we are sweaty and thirsty and hot. Ah, damn it. I feel like more of them should be going down. Jesus, there are a lot. I think we're going to have to pull them away and drive out of here. Or just pull them away and go around or something. Ah, 
Ay. Alright, that's even more coming. Alright, let's get back to the car and we'll drive away. This does not seem like a nice neighborhood to be in. Uh, I think what we'll do... So there's a roadblock there, kind of. Um, I think what we'll do is try and drive down to the bar. Well, there's a roadblock. Jesus, there are cars in the road everywhere, guys. Uh, I think we'll try and get down to the bar. See what it looks like down there. There's the self-storage. Whoa, sorry. I think I banged up the car pretty good. Right, here's the bar. What does it look like here? It looks pretty good. Alright. We can go back there and, and check on possibly setting up a, a house there. Overall condition is pretty good. What's the engine? Uh, uh. Where the hell is the engine? Hmm. Underhood battery, 81. Engine, 54. We have a tiny bit of gas, but we do have the gas station right nearby, so that's nice. I didn't check the glove box or the... Or the... Well, anything, really. Alright. Nothing much. Does the dump truck not have a slot? Well, we're in. Oh, there's the key for the dump truck. Not bad. Well, I guess we won't be needing to hotwire cars. We already have two. It is out of gas, but that's okay. The battery isn't great, but we can find one. The engine is dang good. Okay. And and what's the capacity of uh, of the back? It has to be pretty darn good, right? Hundred and sixteen. Yeah, pretty darn good. Nice. We'll grab this garbage bag. Now I don't want to live here, but. Getting some smokes and stuff isn't a bad thing to do. Uh, where are you? There's a guy there. There's a guy at the window somewhere. Oh, someone wanted in. You could, could have just used the door, dude. Why did you have to smash the window? watch grab that um, we need to eat we need to get uh, batted up so we'll put this in there we'll put the griddle pan in there Garbage bag, that, the battery, 
paper we don't read, need right now. We can go on the key ring. I'll keep that on me. The soul we don't really need to have us on, on us right now. All right. We are quite thirsty. We're actually dehydrated, which isn't good. Let's have something to drink. Now, there was a dude standing out here, so let's just go take care of that. Well, it was a very, very nice starting place uh, with crowbar and saw and a nice car outside and everything. Uh, but unfortunately, where I wanted to have our safe house wasn't that, that nice. No cigarettes. We have two cigarettes and a lighter. It's a start. Chips, orange soda, dice, uh, what one I'll take, uh, just for the bottle really, it's mostly for the bottle that I want it, orange soda, pot, ooh, 20 cigarettes, nice, oh, another 20 cigarettes, I like it. Bleach bottle. Uh, no, I think I'm going to put uh, all of this in this freezer for now because I don't know where we're living yet. Which, ooh, bourbon. We can make a Molotov. Okay. Which bottles don't really care. We have bottles. Uh, let's go put some of this in the back of the car so we're not overweight. Uh, we'll put the bourbon in there. Uh, there we go. We'll put all of the pops in there, the bleach. We'll keep the two orange sodas. Two white wines can go away. And we also need to check that car down there. You know how that is. Right, let's head upstairs and see what it's like up here. I don't think there's a zombie up here because I think they would have heard me bashing in the heads of the two zombies downstairs. What we have here? A box of nails. We'll definitely take that. Nope. Nope. So we can... If we're in a jam, spend the night here. Do have quite a lot of daylight left, so I think we'll go down to the gas station. Check that out. Let's just have something to drink. We should probably check the toilets as well, shouldn't we? Is that another bourbon? It is. Nice. Wait, there are aviator glasses. We're going to wear those. And we're going to wear the bandana. Oh, yeah. No one here. Dead mouse. So, all right, so we're looking cool. That's very important. 
Um, let's just go check these two garbage bins for bags. Can't have too many garbage bags. Dump some stuff in here. Bourbon. All right. Dump the box of nails as well. No need to be carrying that around. Let's uh, eat the pickles. And eat a bag of chips. Oh, we're in the car. Matches. No ease. But we can hotwire. Looks in pretty decent condition, this car. A little bit of gas. Ah, it's actually pretty good. I hear you. Come on then. Man, we're lucky we found found this crowbar early on. That is very useful. There are a lot of zombies there. Um, what I got in the back. Unlock the trunk. A tire pump. I'll take it. This has damn good capacity in the back as well. Alright, uh Let's try and not go through that big group of zombies there. But we'll head down to the gas station and get filled up. A couple of police cruisers. There are a lot of cops standing around up there. With vests. I think one of them at least has a vest on. One of them has a nightstick. Might want to take those guys out. Box of 308 rounds. It's locked, what the hell? It's not fair, the police locking their cars. What the? That shouldn't be illegal. No key. Uh, first aid kit, I'll take, I'll take that. The twine, the blue pen, and the eraser, I'll actually take everything. Uh, we will unlock the trunk and see if there's anything good in here. Bill's ammo strap and a fire fiberglass stock, I guess we'll take it. And we do need to smoke a cigarette. Let's just drop everything that we don't need on us right now. Uh, fiberglass stock, wine, adhesive tape. Uh, we don't actually need that on us either. The first aid kit will just drop and we'll grab what's in there. And I think I think we're gonna go try and take out all of these cops up here. There are a total of seven zombies. That should be doable, right? Uh, let's smoke. But I think we're going to have to take out those cops in the next one. Because we are out of time. We are going to try and keep these episodes relatively short as normal. Between 20 and 25 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll do that. 
And in the next one, we'll go uh, slaying some of those those guys up there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.